In his annual report today, the East Baton Rouge coroner highlighted the gift of organ donation, saying after death can come life. Elizabeth Bourgeois met two women with heartwarming stories. She joins us with more on this, Elizabeth. Corner Clark says that not much good comes through the doors of his office, but wants to remind everyone that sometimes good can be made from these tragic situations. If she had lived, she wouldn't have had any quantity or quality of life. Who was I to be selfish? Joan Robinson's daughter, Alexis Robinson, was killed by a drunk driver back in 2021. But with death can come life, and her mom says they donated her organs with no hesitation. I later learned that she saved the lives of four recipients. I hope to one day meet them. Although she has not met them yet, she has been brought together with another Baton Rouge resident who received the gift of organ donation. That they gave, gave a self gift, the heart, a precious gift, so that I could live. Cheryl Armstrong got the call she was getting a new heart on the same day her daughter got married. I struggled between their death and my joy. But despite that struggle, she's eternally grateful for the family who gave her a new life after their loved one lost theirs. These are just a couple of stories that have come from Dr. Bo Clark's office. Coroner Clark says he's proud to have the most referrals for organ donation of any coroner in the state. It's real easy for me to, to come up here. We can talk about the statistics. Of course, you want to correlate each one of those statistics uh, with someone's life. It is a human that we're talking about. Dr. Clark has referred 650 donor heroes, and today he received a certificate naming him a donor champion. We will have a link in our 9 News app for more information about how you can become a donor. Guys. All right, and while we're on that, thank you, Lizzie. Appreciate it. The coroner also.